Hello and welcome back to Magic Cat Security Pen Testing Tutorials. Today I'm going to go over an application called XSSR. Okay. Or XSSR. <laughs> to be complete. Okay, so now let's let's assume that you've grabbed it and cloned it. Okay, and I'm going to go over that right now. If you're going to grab it and clone it. And of course, the links will be included at the bottom. Um, here's the GitHub location where you'll go and copy it right there. Okay. Now, it's going to require a number of um, things you'll read in the README that need to be installed. Okay, and it goes through right there and it even tells you if you're on ParrotSec, make sure you include this. Okay, so those security users out there make sure you include that also it doesn't want to install that particular version of beautiful soup and you'll need that so if you go to the site for beautiful soup you'll see right up here it's got a copy to clipboard look at that isn't that neat so then you can go right here and copy and paste and install it okay no problem so now once you're here Let's go ahead and run Python. Okay, whoop, don't need all that. And I'm gonna do this purposely because I want you to see the warning that you're gonna get or message. Okay, now it's gonna run and notice down here it tells you for a GDK interface what you can do. Okay, so we're gonna do just that. We're gonna type that in and then we're gonna go boom, boom, GTK. And now watch what happens. Boom, instant user interface. Okay, now, this is pretty much what you see is what you get. Uh, very easy to use, we'll put verbose on here. Um, configure, you can, I'm not gonna take the time once again to go through all this because it's all pretty self-explanatory. Um, you can tell it to follow redirects and all this good stuff. Uh, basic authentication or none everything for uh, your information that you want to get on the website that you're going to check out okay go through and you make all your selections the type of exploit exploiting what you're going to do um reporting or what you're looking for that is connection to the map you can turn that on and it's going to start downloading your map okay and that's just going to take a few minutes, but do let it download your map. Okay. And I don't want to interrupt it, so I'm going to let it go ahead. I could probably switch screens right now and it wouldn't do any damage there, but we're just going to be sure. So it won't take too long. Almost done. And there we go. Boom. Okay, and then results, vulnerabilities, fails, errors, what is crawling, what's suspicious, here's your little about page, tells you all about it. Okay, and we can go here and do a wizard. We'll start the wizard. Okay, so let's see. What do we want to put in here? We'll put, um, I don't know. Let's, uh, I'll hit my own domain again. Okay. My host is gonna love me. Um, I'll leave it on Yahoo, why not? Yahoo's not gonna hurt us, right? Okay, and then let's see, we're gonna put this on auto, and I guess crawler, and we're gonna say aim, and that's where it puts everything into place. Okay, see how it automatically put in all of our commands for everything, and then you hit fly. And we're off and running. And of course, if you want to stop it, you hit it again to land. But now that we're off and running, you can go follow the results. It takes a few minutes for, whoop, if we hit the right tab. It takes a few minutes for results to come in. But they will eventually start coming in. We do have the fly mode and explorer, so it's exploring. It's not actually doing anything necessarily intrusive. 
Okay. And this will be interesting if I just, I may just let this run beyond the tutorial so I can see if it finds any vulnerabilities on, uh, on uh, my particular website. <laughs> okay. But anyhow, that's going to take a while for it to run if you actually start seeing stuff. So we're going to, not going to wait forever for it to do that. Um, but that's pretty much how that works. So we're going to go ahead and land it here. There we go. And stop it there. And there we go. Thanks for joining us today. Have a great day, morning, evening, whatever time it is you're watching us. And remember, only use this legally. Do not use it for illegal reasons. This is for pen testers, cybersecurity people. Um, if you're just getting into the business, you need to know your tools. Um, and for those of you, even if you have your own website and network set up and you want to test it just to make sure everything's secure, um, not really a bad idea. Um, if you have the same tools that the bad guys use, you can test everything against your own network that they would use to try and exploit it. So, the biggest exploit is always human error. Have a good day. Stay legal. Stay safe. See you again. Bye.